if you want to increase productivity in your organization, then you need to conduct employee performance review. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create employee performance review form in Word. And this is the same result we are going to achieve by the end of this tutorial. So, if you want to learn how to create an employee performance review form in Word, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online videos just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's get started. Having opened Word, I enter the title of my form. So I go ahead and enter Employee Performance Review Form. Hit Enter. Next, I go over to Insert and I click on Table. I click on Insert Table. Number of columns, I make it 6. And then number of rows, I make it 22. Then I click on OK to insert my table. I'm going to make the whole of this row. So I highlight it. Then I go to Layout and the Table Tools. Then I click on Mesh Cells. So in here, I enter Employee Information. Next, in here, I enter employee name. In here, I enter department. Next, I enter review. I'm going to jump one, two, three columns. And in here, I enter date. Next, I enter period of review. And finally, I enter reviewer's title. The next thing I'm going to do is rearrange my column so that the text in here will all be in one line as well as here. So what I'm going to do is I highlight the whole of these three cells. Then I go ahead and move this particular line. So I'll move it this much so that everything will be in one line. I'll do the same thing in here. So I'll highlight this, maybe this time around I'll grab this and move it backwards. In order for us to get things clearly, I'm going to go ahead and make this cells right here. So that I'll have enough space to enter these details. And before we move to the next thing, I want to decrease the margins right here. I needed more space than I thought. So to decrease the margins, I go over to layout then i click on margins i choose narrow and you see that in here there's match space i go to layout auto fit i choose auto fit window awesome now i can move this particular line right here i also need to move this line towards this direction so i'll highlight the whole of this and i'll move it right here perfect the next thing I'm going to do is the whole of this row, I'm not going to use it. So I merge everything by highlighting, then click on Merge Cells. Next, I go ahead and enter my titles in this row. So in the first cell, I enter Performance Evaluation. Next, Excellent, Good, Fair, and then Poor. Finally, comments. Perfect. Oops, comments is wrongly spelled. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and adjust my columns. So I'll highlight the whole of this. And I'll grab this line. Maybe to this match so that I'll make more room for comments. I need these four columns to be equal, so I go ahead and highlight it. And under layout, I click on distribute columns. See that they are all the same, but this particular text has taken two lines. So what I do is I open this a little bit. Then I click on distribute columns again. So I'll do that till everything is the same. Okay, once more. 
perfect the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and enter my performance evaluations right here so first i have job knowledge productivity so i'll go ahead and do the rest of them pretty quick and get back to you okay i've entered all my performance evaluation parameters next i'm going to select the entire table by clicking on this icon right here i go over to layout and under height i'm going to increase the height of my rows okay i think one centimeter is okay and you see that my text is hanging on top so what i'm going to do is i choose align center left perfect however this particular row i'll change it to align center the next thing i do is i don't need some of these lines here so what i'm going to do is i highlight everything just for these top three rows then i go to table design i click on borders then i choose no border so as you see that after choosing no border you still see some grid lines this is just there to show you the end of my columns and rows if i print out you wouldn't see any of these lines to enable grid lines you need to go over to borders again then you go to view grid lines you see that mine is selected if i click on it you won't see the grid lines anymore so let me bring it back in order to have a guide i think i need to remove this particular line and this as well so i just click in there and i go ahead and choose no border however i need some lines under this particular cells so what i do is i just click in here and i click on borders i choose bottom border i do the same thing in here perfect i go ahead and repeat the same thing so i just click in here choose bottom border awesome I also need this line here so i just click on this cell then i choose bottom border perfect and on top here i need this particular line so i just click here then i choose bottom border perfect next thing i'm going to do is apply shading here so i just select then i go over to shading then i choose black i do the same thing for the whole of this row so i highlight click on shading the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and add some check boxes in here so from here down to the end so to do that first of all i click then i go over to developer tab if you cannot see developer tab you can go to file then click on options next click on customize ribbon under customize ribbon column you go ahead and enable developer tab mine is enabled so all what you need to do is select this checkbox then click on ok then you see developer tab right here so if you are under developer tab you see controls group in here i have checkbox i just click on it to insert my checkbox and i'll do the same thing in here all right what i can also do is i can highlight the whole of this cells then i go to home click on copy then i go ahead and highlight all these empty cells then i click on paste so this is a quick way to copy and paste in tables one thing i can also do is i go over to layout then i choose align center i do the same thing on top here align center perfect so with these ratings users can go ahead and just select this so when you see a particular box being crossed like this meaning it is selected perfect the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and add more flesh to my form so i click on top here right just right here then i hit enter click on top again then i go over to insert pictures this device i'm going to add a logo right here i have my logo here i just select it and i click on insert awesome it is very big i reduce it to this much now go to home click on center next i highlight this title then i change the font to area black i center it i increase the size to 16 next i go over to change case then i click on uppercase 
and now my form is completed awesome and you see that i'm having two pages i don't want that so what i can do is i can just click anywhere on top then i'll go to the ruler right here i hover in between the blue portion and the white portion to see these two headed arrows then i reduce the margin a bit and now i am having only one page i can zoom out to see the entire form perfect i can also go ahead and take a preview of my form and this is looking great so that's it on how to create employee performance review form in Word. i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you'll be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one